Hi guys, I'm Yanna from Wisecoops, and this is the review of Yalla smartphone. So let's get right into it. So let's dive right on to the review. So this phone has been anticipated a lot and many people who are watching right now this video are wondering what is a Yala smartphone. So let me talk about Yala smartphone. Yala smartphone is powered by Selfish OS which is a truly open and distinctive mobile operating system. So as of right now you can see that the design point of this phone and its operating system is quite similar to Nokia N9 if you remember. So this is the Yala smartphone. This phone consists of two parts and the second part which is removable, the backplate, is called second half. I will talk to you about later on in this video. One thing that I really want to point out is the Yala smartphone battery life. So it has a 2100mAh battery which lasts for one and a half day. Yes, you heard it right, one and a half day for heavy usage. So I don't know how they done, did it, but the battery life is amazing on this phone. So the design point of this phone, it is really neat and clean looking phone. I really like the design point of this phone. And there are only three buttons on this phone. So you can see on the right side of the phone, there is a power button, volume up and down. The Sailfish OS is like anything else. So when you want to open up the notification sensor, you open up from the bottom. When you want to multitask, you will just close tabs or close all, which is a truly necessary thing to have. And Android, please take a note, make a multitasking button where I can clean all the apps. So apps are coming from two different stores. There is a Yala store, which is quite small, but also there is a Yandex store where you can download Android apps. Yes, you heard it right, Android apps. So here I'm showing you an example of Spotify. It really does work on this phone. So you can install Android apps um, and basically they're promising that most of the apps will work on this phone but not all of them so what i mean by that that instagram is not working on this phone this is a bad thing that i and i really think that instagram should be changed and when you saw i changed the ambience and with that the whole opening system is changing the colors sms keyboard and everything so the qual quality the qual quality is pretty good it's not the best of course uh, but it's not the worst also. So I hear the, the other person really clearly and they heard me back also. Quite good. That's what I heard. So here is a test, a short test video. And I'm comparing the Nexus 5 with the Yala smartphone. As you can see the size comparison is quite similar. But with Nexus 5 you remember that it has a 5 inch screen. So the screens Actually, the Nexus 5 screen is much much better than the Yala smartphone because the Yala smartphone has only 4.5 inch screen with 245 pixels per inch. So I think that Yala smartphone version 2 should have a better screen. But the Yala company is saying that they don't emphasize on the inside of this phone, but rather than the what it can do. If you want to game, yes you can game on it, but it's not the best performance, but it does the job. They want to say that this is unlike anything else. And what I really enjoy about this phone is the branding. As you can see right top corner you can see the Yala branding. And that's it. Guys, this is amazing. I think that all phones should have like the branding like this. So Samsung and LG take a notes on here. So this is the second half. So basically what you can do is anything. When you remember the phone era, it's here now. It's not in uh, phone era full condition, but um, it really tries to do that. So when you want a keyboard to a backplate, 
It's possible. When you want an e-ink display to your backplate, it's possible. When you want maybe an example for a wooden backplate, it's possible, guys. So this phone is different because it's like, unlike anything else, no other phone has this feature. So the screen, it has a 540 by 960 pixels, so the pixel density is not the best. It has an IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen, not IPS LCD 2, not an LED or something like that. It has an IPS. The screen is not the best. It does the job, of course, but it's not the best. It has a Corning Gorilla Glass 2 in it, so it doesn't break. And the camera side, well, I was really not happy with the camera. It has an 8 megapixel back facing camera and 2 megapixel front facing camera and it can take uh, 1080p videos. I will also show you a test example. And what I most liked about the camera feature is that it has a lot of settings. You, so you can say change uh, white balance, ISO, whatever you would like to change. I will show you also the example video later on and the picture quality. Uh, I will also link it in the description below, so be sure to definitely check that out because you can see what the yellow smartphone can do. And if you want to see your image, you just swipe it left and that's it. It's pretty much as iPhone, iOS and, well, Android. So here is the test example, what was taken on Yala smartphone. Hi guys, so I'm recording with the Yala smartphone at the harbor. So this is my camera and slider. Slider review will be coming soon. Basically I want to try what's the sound quality of Yala smartphone and the color saturation. So I think that this video will give you a great example of this camera's video quality. Hey guys, so right now I'm filming with Yala front facing camera. I don't know how the picture looks uh, on the screen from your computer, but right now I can see that it's not the best, but it does the job. So actually, yeah, I really want to see how the background looks afterwards. So this is it. So leave a comment down below what you think about the camera on Yala smartphone. For me, I think it wasn't perfect, but well, I really would like to read your comments on this. So, OS, is it ready yet? No. Is the phone ready yet? No. But it's an absolutely awesome phone to own. If you really would like to get a phone that is unlike anything else, I would recommend this phone for you. But for you guys, I won't tell you that. Please wait for version 2. This phone is not ready yet, but I really like the startup and everything that is related to this phone. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below what you think about this video and thanks everyone for watching and I'll catch you later in my next video. Peace.